good? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Kim on the TV. I'm back with another motherfucking reaction video. You know what I'm saying? So, if you want to be reacting to Truth, Truth Is, the 65th Annual Awards Exposed. I said, I said Annual Awards. Oh my God. I mean, Grammy Awards Exposed. You know what I'm saying? Damn, what the fuck? That's, that's what I get when I recorded for too long, man. But, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to the person that told me to y'all said shouts, y'all, shouts, y'all, shouts, y'all. Got to give a thumbs up. We're going to give a thumbs down. Kind of why we don't care. Just a tool. If you want to see more reaction videos to me or your other videos to me, make sure you guys go on my channel. Check out my videos. If you do like my videos on my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, subscribe. Let's get straight into this video. That's what half of my, um, told me to react to this. Right when I about to react to that shit crazy as hell. I just had to put that out there. But yeah, let's get let's get back to this video. Let's get into this video. Damn. Guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this truth talk episode. In today's episode, I'm joined by D. Hi everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna be talking about the 2023 Grammy performance. Let's get right into it. A couple days back, the annual Grammy Awards returned with a vengeance and managed to shock the world with the open satanic symbolism. Yeah. For us here on this channel, hearing that the Grammy's performance was satanic isn't really a sh- They've always been satanic, though. But a lot of people don't think it's satanic. But y'all need to open y'all fucking eyes, bro. Like, y'all all trying to call somebody who always trying to speak against something like a conspiracy theorist with, right, but when it's right in front of your face. Are you a conspiracy theorist? How we a conspiracy theorist and it's right in front of our fucking face. It's simple to see. It's right in front of our fucking face, y'all. Be for be fucking for real, y'all. Be for real. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, I don't know. This kind this Grammys was kind of it was lit, but it, it, something was off about this Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the Grammys always been red. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really watch it. I don't really watch the Grammys like that. You know, so last time I got some Grammys was when um, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. The last time I ever watched some the damn Grammys and shit. But um, but um, but yeah, man, let's get back to this video. As we are used to seeing the annual open rituals take place. Yeah. This time, even I was surprised on how that? far they were willing to go. Before I even start talking about the performance, I just want to say one thing. Things are getting worse. It is. The amount of people at these performances and at home that watched the Christmas performance that just cheered them on was honestly heartbreaking. How can all these people see what's taking place right in their very faces and not see anything wrong with it? Right. People call this shock value. But how is it shock value if the masses aren't even shocked? They're all applauding it and cheering it on. The people who are shocked by this performance are the people who see exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Sam Smith's performance was 100% a ritual for Def the world to see. Def so many people watched and cheered that while Sam Smith is on stage. That was Sam Smith? Oh, no. No, not Sam Smith. Is he the one that sings, Say with me, you all are all I need. Is that him? Is that him? Come down below and tell me, is, is that him? Is that him? No, that can't be. No, 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 that can't be him. What's the video? Stage, ritually dancing and being presented as Lucifer. Sam Smith's performance was the most open satanic imagery I have yeah. seen on the ground. Oh, blood. The hey, look, he was demonic. Red, with Sam Smith dressed all red, singing his very sinful song about doing things that are unholy. Behind Sam Smith, we can see the flames rising mm -hmm. as his dancers ritually dance in a circle. They made the stage clearly appear like the burning end we are mm -hmm. trying to warn the people about. They're showing the fans what they're guiding them to. We mm -hmm. already know this is an occultic ritual. It is. Being done for the crowd of celebrities. Sam Smith then introduces the featured artist on the song. And she can be seen in a cage. cage and yeah. then Sam Smith reappears wearing his devil horns. Openly showing what is being represented. Mm -hmm. I want to see how people are going to deny this one. What are Sam Smith's fans going to say now? Just to make things clear, because I saw a lot of these comments in my last video. I do not care what Sam Smith's preference is. I don't care what Sam right. Smith is into. Right, mean nothing. Video and performance is telling you what Sam Smith is about. Mm -hmm. And it's guiding people to a burning end. Anybody that's an industry. These Grammy performances, 
VMA performances, Super Bowl performance, mm. whenever they have these large celebrity gatherings, they usually do these rituals for these celebrities to attend, watch, and cheer on. Mm. I don't even know if there's fans there cheering it on. What I do know is that they show the celebrities and the celebrities love it. They don't question this imagery because they're all a part of it. Yeah. Definitely. Like yeah. you said, in every single award show that they seem to have, they have to do something that's blasphemy. And they cannot say at this point that it's just for shock value because they have been doing this for years. The shock value is over with. It's more like a ritual. Y'all know what they say. The reason why um the devil, the devil's... um. The devil was good with music. You know what I'm saying? So now, the devil is revealing himself through music to control the masses. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really listen to a lot of music like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the frequencies and stuff. I don't really watch a lot of war shows because what it represents. Man, I don't really believe in nothing, though. I'm just a spiritual being that's having human experience. You know what I'm saying? But I, if you if you really ask me, everything's a fucking cope. Good and bad. Know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really believe in religion like that either. Cause I feel like every religion is a cult too. Cause y'all praising something too. You know what I'm saying? Just like how y'all everybody's trying to say that anybody who worships the devil is Illuminati. That's not. It's not part of a cult. Everything's a fucking cult. If you ask me. Shit. Just watch this video. Set up for this ceremony that they're literally performing and they're allowing the viewers to be a part of it. And it's something mm -hmm. that's going on every year. And as we all the time, each year they're pushing the limits, normalizing more and more. Some people on TikTok and Twitter are outraged by this video. You know, they see what it is, but the majority of people simply don't care. The majority of the people think it's just Sam Smith expressing the song, it's about Sam Smith's preferences and how he wants to be free. But in reality, what would it be if people always gotta find trying to find an excuse for something, bro? Shut the fuck up, bro. That should be pissing me off, bro. Stop stop being the fucking denier, bro. And accept that shit. Like, damn. Oh, you doing the car, you going something. Nah, motherfucker. It's it's cleaning your fucking face. The simplest is there. The fuck? What about the video? reason to do that if he's just trying to be free it just doesn't make any sense it does. my point what's clearly going on with this performance is that he's performing an occultic it, ritual yeah he got nothing read and his dancers all in a circle this is called an enchanted circle mm -hmm. the occultists use this in many ways for many reasons but in this instance we can tie it together with the other performances that actually took place that day like later on we're going to be talking about the quavo performance that happened just one performance before this one in the last video on made on sam smith i showed that he was a masonic puppet he has countless photos showing open masonic imagery mm -hmm. all the motherfuckers is part of the shit bro oh, see they finally got my girl glorilla without at all hiding it. the fact that he was invited to the grammy performance to do this she, she had that black white on oh, oh, no. like this you cannot deny what Sam Smith represents. He took the oath. He is guiding so many souls to a burning end. Yeah. Let's move on. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the Jay-Z performance. Many people found Jay-Z's Grammy performance strange, and for good reason. This performance is openly blasphemous and shows exactly what I've been saying about Jay-Z the whole time. Y'all know, y'all know, um, that kind of remind me of that, of that picture with, G, uh, with Jesus and, um, they all sitting at the dinner table and shit. I feel like the people that, the, but I feel like that the satanics, the sat how you, how we say that shit, the Satan of the mockery of Christianity and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they got the upside down cross and shit. They got all types of shit that's the opposite of Christianity and shit. That, yeah, this, this shit is crazy, bro. Who about this video? In my opinion, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, DJ Khaled, Khaled, and Rick, Rick, Rick Ross, Ross are all Masonic puppets. They are. Rick Ross has shown on many occasions that he took the Masonic oath. And if you want to see a full breakdown about Rick Ross, check out this video after this one. I also it, recently just did a video on Lil Wayne, and he openly shows that he took the oath as well, time and time again. 
Khaled yeah. also shows signs of being a Masonic puppet, as we can find him doing the I don't know, it's something about DJ Khaled, I just can't don't. Like I just don't like something about DJ him, I don't Khaled. like. Comment DJ Khaled below. The moment I saw this, the first thing I thought to myself was this is nothing more than blasphemy. All I see is the false idols who think that they are gods and are recreating mm. the Last Supper. They are showing the world that through masonry and the occult, they have made it to the level of gods. Interesting enough, when you look at the lyrics of God Did, Jay-Z admits this very thing. Jay-Z started his verse by rapping Hove Did instead of God Did, as he compares himself to God. Jay-Z even compares his music to being the New Testament, replacing God's... That is nothing but big-ass egos and shit. That's really it, bro. You know? You know, we all are gods within ourselves, though. You know what I'm saying? But they using that shit in the wrong... In the, in the, the wrong turn, you know, they got they've got big ass egos, you know what I'm saying? Their egos get in the way. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing but ego. If you compare yourself to a God, we are, are made in God's image, but you know, Jay Z is God, they are they Z them gods are are the devil, you know what I'm saying? Lucifer. You know what I'm saying? What about this video? Words. Jay Z raps. These ain't songs. This is hymns, cause I'm him. It's Palms one fifty one. This New Testament, the book of Hove, oh. the book of Hove. Jesus turned water to wine. For Hove, it just took a stove. You mm. never know how this could go. Openly, I, I, I just seen a picture of him God, going viral. He, he got a, a cup of wine, but he like it's blood because the thing was thick. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking God, about. And to show how they became gods on earth. We must not forget that Jay Z and Rick Ross have a song together called Freemasons, where they openly admit heard who they serve. All last year, I was showing how Kendrick Lamar was depicting himself as Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, and I explained to you guys that I believe that this imagery was clearly Antichrist imagery. Yes. Kendrick Lamar was showing that we were entering the uh. new age. The age of the Antichrist, where these artists will openly declare themselves as gods and show themselves as gods so the masses can worship them. This is exactly the imagery we've been seeing from the music industry altogether mm -hmm. for the last 10 years. Rappers like Kendrick Lamar, rappers like Eminem with songs like Rap God, they're declaring themselves gods and the masses are worshiping them. This is exactly yeah. what they're showing us with this Last Supper. They're yeah. recreating the Last Supper with the fallen idols. Yeah. Every time I see people yeah. do this, it's like a slap. The I just said that shit. I swear to God, I just said that shit. I don't know what. I just didn't know the name of I was like, that, that shit look kind of familiar. They was all at the dinner table. Yeah, it, yeah, that's crazy. What's the video? Face, they're literally portraying themselves as Jesus Christ, mocking him. Mm -hmm. And you can clearly yeah. see how they're trying to depict themselves as gods. They're mm -hmm. trying to say how high and mighty they are, mm -hmm. when we know for a fact they're not. They not. Exactly they really not. Teaches them. That's why Without that money and shit. That was what Crowley's teachings were. They ain't, not, they ain't nobody for real. We all created equal. About his entire career. This is you what just got more money and shit. Guide yeah. us away from God. Teach That's us it. how to be on gods. Teach us how to self-destruct. That is their purpose. And sadly, the fans see it time and time again. It's done in their faces. Mm -hmm. Showing their faces. Mm -hmm. They're literally being made fun of and mocked. Yeah. And the fans don't react. They just cheer it on. Yeah. They give them their money. They give them their time. They yeah. give them their energy. Yeah. They're consumed by this. Yeah. It's only getting brainwashed. How much Program. More open does it have to be before people wake up? How much more open does it need to be before people realize what's happening right in front of their faces? Yeah. This is the world that we live in, and we're allowing it to get worse each and every day. Yeah. We're supporting the evil. And we're not showing the same support to the good. Yeah, this is why that's our world crazy. is the way it is. Today. Yeah. In a way, these Fact. people feel like they can do the, the things that they do because of the fans. The fans worship these people and make them feel like they're so high and mighty. I don't worship shit. Fans, no, these like guys said, just they fuck them all. Good. They think that, they that taking me. the wrong path is going to get them places because that's all we see everywhere throughout social media, throughout the music. That's the only message that's being spread right now is do things that are not that are not Christ-like to make it somewhere so you could go further in life. And that's what I... Y'all know that they use this music shit to, to brainwash them to do bad shit, you know? So that's why the world is so bad right now because music, I keep telling y'all, music, bro. Music, period, bro. What they you know, what they put in front of on TV to program a tell life, your vision, television, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what about the video? Nobody wants right now. Nobody wants to take the long route 
and be good. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to get everything I'm going down that yeah. One of the performances before the Jay-Z performance was unholy. You understand? Sam Smith literally dressed as the devil, presenting himself as the devil, singing a song about sin and being unholy. And then they show in the same performance, celebrities mocking Jesus with the Last Supper. This is what the industry is about. This is what the Grammy event is about. The last performance I wanted to talk about is Quavo's performance. On the surface, Quavo's performance was supposed to appear like a tribute to his fallen nephew, Takeoff, who passed on November 1st. The only thing is, is that it appeared more like an honoring of a sacrifice than mm-hmm. a tribute. See, Quavo was mm-hmm. performing while wearing That's what I got a too. mask on half of his face, showing the one eye symbolism, while behind him, fallen artists were being displayed. Yeah. Then shortly after this performance, they show Sam Smith doing an open satanic ritual. This wasn't a tribute, but an honoring of all the souls offered in 2022 for the good harvest yeah. that Jay-Z, Rick Ross, and Lil Wayne are displaying. All of this imagery is connected, and it yep. shows who truly runs the industry. Yep. You remember in 2022, just how many artists passed. It A was lot. one after another, and it was all towards the end of the year, yep. from what I remember. Specifically, we saw P&B P- Rock, and then we saw Coolio, Hello. and then we saw Take, Take off. off. All these situations happened right after another. Mm-hmm. And I explained, this can't happens believe. every year during this time. P&B during Rock October, did, I can't believe that shit. During the That's the shock the fuck out of me. traditions are continued by these modern occultists. It is not a coincidence that they would do a tribute for Takeoff and then show Sam Smith literally doing a satanic ritual. Exactly. They love doing this. And throughout all of their award shows, they love portraying themselves this way, showing us this stuff openly in our faces, having us view it, cheer it on, participate in it in a way so we can become manipulated. So yeah. they can trick us into essentially worshipping them. But the only ones that will fall for it is the uh is the the closed mind ones and the weak ones. You know what I'm saying? That don't that, be the ones that's gonna fall for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, they controls the media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Watch the video. Participating in what they're doing. I hope that people can wake up after seeing these performances. I hope that people can literally see it. Because in the last year, we saw the Balenciaga. We saw all those situations. And in 2021, we even saw the Travis Scott situation. And I thought that so many people were yeah. finally going to wake up. And finally, the system would crumble. But instead, it just got stronger. They just got even bolder. Like I just covered in the Kid Cudi video, they were openly talking about the Masonic Order and showing how all the celebrities were a part of it. They didn't even hide it. This is what the industry has come to. They no longer have to hide the symbolism. It's all in the open because they got to the point where no one cares anymore. Mm. When people mention shock value, there is no one shocked. These people are used to this. They're expecting this and they're cheering this on. I 100% agree with you about them just getting bolder. It has been crazier and crazier as the years go by. And you would think by now more people would understand it's not a joke. They're literally having you participate in something, mocking you, laughing in your face, manipulating you. But instead, everybody just turns the other way and looks blindly and just thinks it's a performance. How many performances do they need to do mocking Jesus? How many performances do they need to do where they depict themselves as the devil? How many performances do they need to do where it looks like a ritual is taking place? That doesn't make sense. That's yeah, not art anymore. They're, they're literally doing the same art. things in front of our faces every, every year. year. Just a little step extra. If we want to change it, we have to stop giving our energy to the music that's destroying Fact. us and start giving that energy to the music that's going to build us up mm-hmm. and start giving that energy to the people that Ain't are going to build up and no soul in the music no more. So this. And it's because nobody cares. They're too manipulated and they're too consumed. Yep. This is why in every single video I always say, we must remember that every day we wake up, our souls are at stake. And we also must remember to help those who can't see the truth find the truth. Mm. Well, that's it for this video. But before you guys go, make sure you join me on Discord so we can have a chat about this video. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to start waking up and see what see shit for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, we got to start that promoting good music and start supporting these artists and shit. 
But yeah, man, you like to give a thumbs up, you don't give a thumbs down, you know why? We're gonna cater to you too, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we squats, you guys, and that's what we gotta love y'all. Peace out.